landowners are continuing to fight against the proposed Dakota Access crude oil pipeline that is planned to run right through the heart of southeast Iowa. Among the landowners fighting the pipeline is Pam Alexander. She is a fourth generation farmer near Fremont and the pipeline will cut across approximately one mile of her property. The proposed oil pipeline will cross onto the property just 50 feet beyond the fence that's right behind me. Alexander says her main objection centers on the belief that Dakota Access does not have any rights to their land. This company is a private company, it's not a utility, and it's for their personal gain uh, to put it in. And I don't think they have a right to our land if we don't want to give it to them. She is also concerned about the impact construction of the underground pipeline will have on their crops. They're only going to pay us three years damages and that's graduated down 100% the first year, 80% the second year and 60% the third year. And after that, if, we, if our crops aren't back to production, we're just out of luck. Alexander attended several of the informational meetings about the pipeline and said the information the company provided about the pipeline was vague or inconsistent. At a meeting in December, Vicki Granado, a Dakota Access spokesperson, tried to alleviate the concerns of critics, stating that the pipelines are safer than moving crude oil along rail lines. But landowners are still faced with the choice. Those are the two choices you have, really, either sign or go eminent domain. And a lot of farmers I've heard say they just didn't want to go eminent domain. Alexander says at this point in the negotiations, she is determined to fight to the end to protect her family's land, no matter what price Dakota Access offers for settlement. She says oil pipelines continue to be planned throughout the Midwest, and the potential damage is not worth the risk. Through Minnesota and Wisconsin, through some of the best farmland in this country, and it's, it's not good for the country. I just don't think it's worth that oil independence that they talk about. Reporting in Fremont, Iowa, Matt Thilke, KTVO News.